Tesla operates in some of the largest industries in the world, and Elon Musk has established multiple ventures within these major economic sectors, each aiming to become trillion-dollar enterprises. Car sales have been Tesla's primary focus, making up about 95% of the company's activities. However, Tesla's Optimus robot has caught the attention of a well-known investor who thinks it could be worth multiple times more than all of Tesla's other businesses combined. So what this robot is, and how it can be a changer? That's what we will discuss in today's video. So stay tuned until the end of the video and hit that red subscribe button first. Over a year ago, experts argued that it was time to start factoring Tesla's Optimus robot into the company's valuation. It was evident that Tesla was earnestly pursuing this initiative. What's more, Tesla already possessed all the necessary components from hardware expertise to the AI software required to realize this product. If any other company were to introduce a robot, it would lack the credibility and ambition that Tesla brings to the table. However, we witnessed several companies follow suit with their own robot announcements. Startups like Figure, established just last year in 2022, grabbed headlines by teaming up with OpenAI for their new humanoid robot. Even Boston Dynamics, a longtime leader in robotics, known for its hydraulic-based humanoid robots, has made a sudden shift, retiring Atlas in favor of a new electric version. This surge in competition suggests a heated race for dominance in the humanoid robot sector. But Elon Musk isn't merely aiming to create a stylish humanoid robot. He envisions scaling this technology to millions, imagining machines capable of performing nearly any human task and thereby significantly expanding the economy. Tesla places a strong emphasis on scalability when discussing their robots, in contrast to companies like Boston Dynamics that prioritize enhancing quality of life. While commendable, the ambition to scale to millions is what promises a truly impactful outcome. Tesla is designing Optimus from scratch for mass production, a significant departure from producing only a few robots. Tesla has a solid track record of building factories optimized for scaling their core products. Therefore, if Tesla successfully ramps up in the next 5 to 10 years, achieving significant robot sales in the millions seems feasible, especially since these robots are smaller and have fewer components than cars, with a battery pack that is 30 times smaller. This potential for financial gain could be substantial by 2030 or 2035, and this anticipated success holds considerable value today when discounted to the present. Investor Chris Camillo believes this outcome is possible and was waiting for a potential dip in Tesla's stock to initiate his investment in this future. Chris Camillo is a well-known investor and entrepreneur recognized for his unconventional and highly successful approach to investing in the stock market. He became prominent by transforming a modest initial investment into millions by leveraging trends in social media and insights into human behavior to forecast market movements. The conventional approach to Tesla's Optimus product aligns it with Tesla's car sales. Investors typically project a price point like $25,000 where the robot could appeal to consumers, then calculate potential revenue based on unit sales. If Tesla sells a million robots, that could mean $25 billion in revenue. At 10 million robots, it could soar to 250 billion, especially as Optimus enters households. But Chris Camillo diverges from this view entirely. He disregards consumer sales and focuses on selling Optimus to businesses, where the real profit lies. This approach could prove highly lucrative for Tesla, potentially saving businesses millions while enhancing productivity. Rather than pricing Optimus based on its hardware value, Tesla should, and likely will, price it based on its economic impact. In an interview with Herbert, Chris Camillo presents a compelling valuation model for Tesla's Optimus robot. He estimates that business would pay $16.88 per hour for robot labor, with robots operating a minimum of 16 hours daily for 350 days annually. Imagine a factory, retail, or restaurant robot that only pauses for charging and perhaps uses an extension cord for this purpose. It never takes sick leave and can operate continuously. This results in an annual cost of $94,000 per robot, which is quite economical compared to traditional employees who require salaries, benefits, vacation time, and healthcare. Robots also do not fall under regulation or unions until such demands arise. Furthermore, a robot effectively doubles the productivity of a single human worker, as humans typically work 8-hour shifts while robots can work 16-hour shifts there's potential to extend their operation closer to 24 hours a day, although for this discussion, we'll stick with 16 hours. 
Camilo also assumes that Tesla would lease these robots and cover their maintenance costs, estimated conservatively at $8,000 per robot annually. Under this setup, Tesla could achieve gross profit margins exceeding 90%. Now, what's intriguing here is that he then multiplies this by what he anticipates will be Tesla's unit sales estimated at just 1.5 million robots in total for now. Camilo himself considers this a cautious estimate, yet it yields $129 billion gross profit opportunity. Next, he applies a P&E ratio of 80 times, arriving at a $10 trillion valuation. What's remarkable again is the 1.5 million robots as that's a cumulative figure. Tesla doesn't need to achieve that number in the first year or anything similar. Furthermore, if Tesla manufactures an additional 1.5 million robots, it effectively doubles the existing fleet. Therefore, in the second year, the gross profit could potentially double, consequently doubling the valuation as well. At this pace, Tesla would require its own fleet of robots to maintain the fleet in operation. However, actual unit sales aren't expected to be that high. Given that, as previously explained, robots are smaller than cars, requiring fewer components. Tesla has already demonstrated its capability to scale up production of large objects efficiently. Achieving similar scalability with robots on a smaller scale appears feasible. Another significant distinction is that this $129 billion represents a recurring revenue stream. When you sell the robots at $25,000 each, the transaction concludes. However, by charging for the full economic value annually, this approach becomes much more lucrative and profitable for Tesla. Additionally, while the 80 times PE ratio might appear high, Camilo is incorporating a substantial ongoing growth rate. It's possible that over many years, as Tesla scales up to 10 million robots and beyond, the valuation could become truly staggering. This is why Camilo is enthusiastic about this modest commercial opportunity for Tesla and isn't focused on the car business, especially when considering these types of figures. Of course, Optimus must be equipped with genuine AI capabilities capable of performing real-world tasks, which poses a significant challenge for Tesla. Developing the software will be considerably more complex and demanding than the hardware, which has its own set of challenges, but it doesn't necessarily need to flawlessly handle every use case right from the start. Even if Optimus becomes proficient at just one task at a time, it could generate substantial value and displace existing methods. Tesla is already teaching it tasks like folding clothes, which is a common household chore and also routine in many retail environments. Therefore, this business model holds considerable intrigue. In a previous scenario, Chris Camilo also estimates that building all these robots initially would cost around $60 billion. But this is a one-time expense as the robots would continue operating for multiple years. There's also flexibility in how Tesla ultimately decides to market and sell this product and service. When you consider traditional vehicles, consumers pay for the car itself, and once full self-driving is ready for widespread use, Tesla could earn a 30% commission on all Uber-style rides, potentially resulting in substantial annual revenue, with the upfront cost covered by the consumer. Human-like robots might follow a similar model where individuals purchase the basic robot with essential functions. But for commercial use, additional specialized applications might be required, available on a pay-per-hour or on-demand basis. For instance, using a laundry folding expert might cost $16 per hour, while employing a professional chef could cost around $30 per hour. This approach allows for capturing economic value across different tasks, potentially boosting Tesla's long-term profitability, similar to Amazon AWS's tiered pricing for services and hardware configuration. Investors have been slow to include Optimus in Tesla's valuation, even starting from scratch and projecting revenues and profits solely from robots to be manufactured 5 to 10 years from now requires discounting these future cash flows to present value. Doing so could result in a valuation substantially higher than Tesla's current market capitalization, solely based on Optimus. Camilo, a seasoned swing trader, is currently scouting for short-term weaknesses in Tesla to initiate his position. He believes it might take about three years for investors to fully recognize Elon Musk's ambitious plans. Do you think Tesla can realistically achieve this? Can they develop a practical robot capable of replacing moderately paid jobs that involve physical labor? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit that like button before you go. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.